What's the difference between the banal heart and the no banal heart? With this, we have two lines of strings. This is the chromatic heart. The red is chromatic, you want to put us here. And on this, you want to put us. With this, we can make alterations, flat and sharp, with a very complex mechanism. But here we have absolutely no mechanism, well, not this kind of mechanism. So and this one is easier? Basically, <laughs> <laughs> it's easier for the foot, yes. But for me it's very difficult. I'm not, I don't guess that I'm absolutely not a harpist, chromatic, chromatic harpist. Mm -hmm. And so I practice this on small things, especially for the concert, but I don't think that it's not possible. Yeah. And, this. and with this we have two uh, lines, the white and the Black yeah. who has a cross like this. And the white and black is like a piano. It's quite like the same as the piano, but here we have the hands uh, at the opposite. Yeah. So it's absolutely not the same. Because here, uh, if you want to play, uh, for example, for the right hand uh, sharp, mm -hmm. you have to put your finger through, down. Can you show it? Yeah, here, for example. Uh, It's so, not, it looks so easy, but it's very complicated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very difficult. But it's nice we can play uh, with many things that we can do that very easily with the with the, uh, with the okay. okay, you play for us a piece uh, on the chromatic harp. Yeah, I try. Dat is dit is echt heel uitzonderlijk. Dit is een een harp van Gucci. 1912. Het staat er nog op. Het is een systeem systeem Gustave Lyon. Dat is dus de grote baas. Dat was volgens Sylvanus een een genie die man. Ja, het is de harp die het. Ja, het is een chromatische harp. Nee, ik ga dit verklaar. Hij speelt een stukje. Dat is uniek, want dat gebeurt tegenwoordig. Siva, please, Maestro. Thank you. 